Alright, welcome back to the Pig Toss Game tutorial in Construct 3. In this video, I think we should get things wrapped up. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to create a new group and I'm going to call this one uh, Piggy Death. Very sad. And I'm going to drag this up under, well, above destroy. There we go. In Piggy Death group, I'm going to add an event. I want to say when it is in contact with our fruits and vegetables, you're going to lose the game. Go to our sprites, pick our little piggy, and say when he is overlapping another object, and choose that object. Here's where it gets a little tricky. If you have the free version, you're going to have to do it a different way, and I will show you in just a second. If you have families, we created this family of crops. Let's pick the family of crops. Say done. We want to add an action. What I want to happen is when the pig hits a tomato or carrot, I want him to stop where he is and just shoot up in the air while he's spinning around out of control and then fall off the screen. So I am going to pick our little piggy and come down here to set angle of motion and I'm going to send him straight up and it's going to be 270 degrees and because we have his gravity set so high he's going to shoot up but then the gravity is going to pull him back down and then I want to make him spin around so I'm going to add an action go to our little piggy and I'm going to come down here to uh, rotate and I'm going to say set enabled to enabled because we have it disabled in our initialize group. All right, let's uh, play that and see what we got. So we got some fruit and vegetables flying around and there we go. Now we have a problem. As he was falling down, there was another uh, carrot shooting up and he landed on it and it made him uh, shoot up in the air again. It, it called this block of code again. So we're going to have to tell it whenever it has been hit that it can no longer do anything. So I'm going to compare a variable and I'm just going to add a condition to this block of code here and say system compare variable of dead pig to zero. So if he's not dead yet, I'm going to move that up, if he's not dead yet, and he overlaps one of the crops, then we're going to play this. But as soon as we start playing this, I want to add an action, set value of dead pig to true, which is one. And I'll move him to be the first thing. So now dead pig is one, which means this condition is not being met anymore. So let's see if we can catch this happening again. And there we go. He uh, hit that tomato again on his way down and he went right through it. Okay, so that works. So what happens if our pig is sitting over here and we shoot him and we immediately hit something and he comes down and he just, you know, even if he just barely overlaps the cannon. Well, we have our code set up to if our pig overlaps a cannon, it places him on that image point. So let's use this dead pig variable up here on our cannons as well. So I'm going to uh, just double click in here in this area and I'm going to say system compare variable and it's going to be dead pig and that's going to be zero. I'm going to move him above the trigger once and I'm going to with that highlighted hold control click and drag a copy down to this bottom one. And then up here in our player control, I want the same thing. So I'm going to double click, say system compare variable of dead pig to zero. So this says no, our pig is not dead, so we can uh, run this code. And I'm going to, with that highlighted, control click, drag. All right, that should be it for our player controls. 
I believe that is it for our pig landing as well. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that. And then in our piggy death, when we set dead pig to one, well, well I'll show you. Let's play the game. So when I hit one, we still have fruits and vegetables flying across the screen. So I'm going to come down here in our uh, piggy death group. I'm going to add an event and I'm going to say system and I'm going to compare compare a variable of uh, dead pig whenever it is true, which is one. So when dead pig is true, I am going to add an action system. I'm just going to type in group and select set group active and the group I want to set is uh, two of them. One is player control and that's player controls is what I named it. So uh, put the name of the group exactly how it is spelled in your group in between the quotations and select deactivated and then I'm just going to control C copy control V paste go in here and I'm going to change the group name to carrot spawn and then I'm going to control C copy control V paste come in here and change this one to tomato spawn uh, let's see is that what I want to do you know what I don't think we actually need this one I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one I don't think we need it okay uh, I'm going to add an action. I'm going to say system wait for two seconds. And then I am going to add an action system set value of game over to one, which is going to be true. So now I'm going to create another group. I'm going to call this game over. And in that group, I'm going to say uh, system compare value or compare variable of game over when it is one. I want to let's add an action, go to sprites, let's pick our play button, and I'm just going to type in set visible, and we want it to be visible. And then I'm going to add another action. I'm going to go to text, uh, text play and do the same thing set visible to visible so now I'm gonna add an event in our game over group and I'm gonna go to our meta pick our touch and I'm going to say uh, on tap object when we tap the let's choose our play button so when we tap our play button I'm going to highlight both of these I'm going to control click and drag a copy and I'm going to go into each one and set them invisible and I also want to add an action system restart layout I also want to make sure that uh, this only happens when our game over variable is set to one I am actually just going to highlight that control click and drag a copy down there okay so I think that is it I'm just going to expand all of these and I'm just gonna take a quick look through everything uh, I think we've covered all of the cases so let's preview this all right so far so good we got things flying through the air and the idea is to shoot across the screen and avoiding all of the stuff and there we go I died the play button came up our, we only got two points I'm going to click the play button our score reset we got more things flying across the screen and it just it reset us so we can keep playing all right that is the game it's very simple it's pretty short try it with different difficulties 
you can drop this spawn speed down to, if we went 0 0.5, it's every half a second, you're going to see uh, a lot more stuff flying across the screen. And it's going to be a lot harder. In fact, I'm not even sure if you can get through. So uh, play around with that. That's why I went with uh, 1.1. Uh, I tried a bunch of different speeds, and that's just what I came up with. And I think that's it, guys. All right. So this concludes another tutorial series. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel because I have several more tutorials lined up. And I'm recording them as fast as I can, getting them up as fast as I can. So that's it. I will see you in the next tutorial series. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to save.